What's up, y'all? It's Chaos Springer again. I had a request a while back on how to install uh, a VPN on a CentOS VPS. Uh, it's extremely easy. It takes just a couple minutes. First thing you want to do is go to the OpenVPN.net software solution page. Select your distribution that's on your dedicated server, VPS, whatever. Uh, for this tutorial, it's going to be CentOS. I've got CentOS 6 64-bit. Copy the link of the RPM file, log into your VPS, and then you want to wget that file. Once it's downloaded, you simply want to type RPM I and the file name, and let it sit here for a few minutes while it installs. Alright, now that that's finished, uh, the first thing you want to do before you pay any attention to this, um, you want to change the password of your username OpenVPN, so passwd OpenVPN, um, whatever you want to set your password as, this is what you're going to use to log into your VPN configuration page as well as connect to your VPN with the OpenVPN account. And you can obviously set up other users at a later time, but you want to change this so it's not left as default. Now once that's been changed, first thing you want to do is go to this page right here. This is the admin for the VPN. Oh, fuck off. Obviously, it's going to come up as an untrusted connection. Just add the exception, whatever. Now, your username is OpenVPN, and the password is whatever you set up a minute ago. Bullshit. Alright, now here is where you can go through and set up other users, change settings. I'm not going to go through a full tutorial on how to configure this. Uh, it'll work bare bones the way it's set up now. If you want to go in and configure different options, that's perfectly fine. You can do that. Um, now to connect to this, it's extremely easy. Simply go to this link, delete the admin off the end of there. And it's going to take you to this page. The login information on this page is the exact same. And once you get to here, it's very simple. Click here to download. It's going to download uh, an MSI file. It's nothing major. Just download it to your desktop, wherever. Doesn't matter. Download slow as fuck. VPN I'm on right now, slow as dog shit. Anyways, download this file. Once it gets on your desktop, alright, once it's done downloading, you can close this page out, whatever, 
go back to your desktop and you're going to have this file. You want to install this file. This is going to install an OpenVPN software package in your taskbar, which is going to allow you to connect. Um, now before we go to that, I'm currently connected to another VPN at the moment. I pretty much never not on a VPN. This is the IP that is shown given currently. Now, let's switch to the new VPN. I'll go ahead and disconnect from this VPN. And as you can see, it finally popped up this little open VPN connect icon in my taskbar. Simply right click on it, and you can go ahead and change your options if you prefer. But to connect your VPN you just set up, simply click connect to and your IP address of your VPN. Enter your password, click connect, click yes on this, don't ask again, whatever. And as you can see, it's attempting to connect. Depending on your server, it may take it a minute, it may not. There, as you can see, it says I'm connected. So, if we refresh IP Chicken, this was my other VPN IP that I was on a minute ago. And now, it says my IP is 199-231-184-227. Obviously, that is not my IP. And as you can see here, it shows that is the IP that I'm connected to, or connected with, on the VPN. Um, it's fairly simple. And you can go back into this other page and set up different settings. Um, set up other user accounts if you want other users to be able to use your VPS as a dedicated VPN. Whatever. Um, disable logging etc. Whatever you may want to do. That's all done from this window here. I may make another tutorial later on preferred settings that you might enjoy on this window, but for the most part that's how you set up your own VPN on a VPS. Uh, you don't need anything special as a VPS. Bones. I think mine's got like a gig of RAM and maybe a hundred gigs of space. It's like a three dollar VPS. You don't need anything special and you can set them up as VPNs. Um, you can obviously allow for multiple IP addresses, locations. Uh, there's a lot of configuration you can do. Uh, I may make another video later, but this is just basically to cover how to install it on your server and be able to connect to it. Enjoy.